Jennifer stepped out of the car, her breath visible in the chilly night air. The remote town of Anacortes, Washington, with its mist-shrouded streets and eerie silence, seemed like the perfect setting for her Valentine's weekend getaway. Little did she know that this trip would soon turn into a nightmarish tale of horror. As Jennifer walked along the dimly lit streets, she couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. The deserted town seemed frozen in time, as if holding its breath, waiting for something sinister to unfold. The flickering streetlights cast long shadows that danced on the pavement, echoing the unease in her heart. She had chosen this town for its seclusion, hoping to escape the chaos of everyday life and spend a romantic weekend with her boyfriend, Mark. But Mark had been called away on urgent business, leaving Jennifer alone in this strange place. She couldn't help but feel a pang of disappointment mixed with a growing sense of dread. Passing by an old dilapidated house, Jennifer couldn't resist the urge to explore its haunting beauty. The wooden porch creaked under her weight as she cautiously stepped up to the front door. The hinges groaned in protest as she pushed it open, revealing a dark and musty interior. Her footsteps echoed through the silent house as she ventured deeper into its depths. The air grew heavier, suffused with an inexplicable tension that made her skin crawl. Jennifer's heart pounded in her chest, threatening to leap out at any moment. Suddenly, a peculiar sound caught her attention. It was a faint whisper, barely audible, yet it sent shivers down her spine. She strained her ears, trying to discern its origin. The whispers grew louder, swirling around her like a macabre chorus. They seemed to be calling out her name, their haunting voices echoing in the empty rooms. Fear gripped Jennifer's heart, but an insatiable curiosity pushed her forward. She couldn't resist the pull of the unknown, the allure of uncovering the secrets hidden within these walls. With each step, the whispers grew louder, their words becoming more distinct. Jennifer, revenge, Valentine's vengeance, the words echoed in her mind, evoking a chilling realization. Could it be that this remote town held a dark secret? One that sought vengeance on this very night? Jennifer's imagination ran wild, conjuring images of vengeful spirits and forgotten tragedies. As she continued her exploration, Jennifer stumbled upon a dusty study, its walls adorned with faded photographs. The images depicted couples, their smiling faces frozen in time. But something was unsettling about their eyes, a glint of madness that sent a shiver down her spine. In the center of the room, Jennifer noticed an old journal, its pages yellowed with age. With trembling hands, she opened it, revealing the handwritten accounts of a past that should have remained buried. The journal told a tale of unrequited love, betrayal, and a Valentine's Day gone horribly wrong. Page after page, Jennifer read the haunting words that spoke of a lover's scorn a broken heart seeking revenge. The author's madness seeped through the ink, infecting her mind with its malevolence. It was as if the spirit of the jilted lover had found its vessel in Jennifer, compelling her to fulfill its dark desires. A cold draft swept through the room, extinguishing the candles that had cast a dim light. Darkness engulfed Jennifer, leaving her alone with her fears. The whispers grew louder, their haunting melody filling her ears, she knew she had to escape, to break free from the clutches of this vengeful spirit. But as she reached for the door, an invisible force slammed it shut with a deafening bang. The room echoed with a burst of otherworldly laughter, chilling Jennifer to the bone. Panic seized her, and she fumbled for her phone, desperate for a connection to the outside world. No signal. The spirits of Ana Cortes had severed her ties to sanity. In the suffocating darkness, the whispers transformed into a sinister chant, echoing through the halls of the forsaken house. Valentine's vengeance, Jennifer. It's time. The air thickened with the weight of the past, and the room seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. Jennifer, now a pawn in the vengeful game of the supernatural, felt an inexplicable compulsion to revisit the images on the wall. The couple stared back at her, their eyes gleaming with a malevolent intent. She realized that their tragic fates were intricately woven into the fabric of the town's history, a tapestry of heartbreak and betrayal. As Jennifer retraced the steps of the doomed lovers, the house itself seemed to guide her towards a hidden chamber beneath the creaky floorboards. The whispers, now a cacophony of wailing voices, urged her onward. 
she discovered a hidden door, its rusted hinges protesting as it swung open to reveal a dimly lit chamber adorned with wilted flowers and remnants of a long-forgotten celebration. In the center of the room, a blood-red heart-shaped locket lay, pulsating with an otherworldly glow. Jennifer's trembling hand reached for it, and as she clasped the locket, a surge of memories flooded her mind. She became a vessel for the tortured soul of the jilted lover, cursed to reenact the night of betrayal over and over again. The room transformed, and Jennifer found herself amid a spectral Valentine's Day celebration from the past. The laughter of lovers echoed through the halls, distorted into the wails of tormented souls. Mark, her absent boyfriend, materialized before her, a mere puppet in the vengeful drama that unfolded. The spectre of the jilted lover, clad in a blood-stained gown, emerged from the shadows. Jennifer, trapped in the haunting reenactment, felt the weight of the lover's agony. In a ghastly twist, she became the instrument of revenge, her actions mirroring the long-lost betrayal that had cursed Ana Cortes. As the clock struck midnight, the house convulsed with malevolent energy, sealing the fate of the doomed lovers. The whispers ceased, replaced by an eerie silence. The town of Ana Cortes returned to its slumber, holding the secrets of Valentine's vengeance within its mist-shrouded streets. Jennifer, now a lost soul trapped in the twisted tapestry of Ana Cortes, faded into the shadows, her anguished whispers joining the haunting chorus that echoed through the desolate town. The remote town had claimed another victim, and as the first light of dawn broke, Ana Cortes embraced its secrets, leaving no trace of the horrifying tale that had unfolded in the heart of Valentine's vengeance.